Shall I tell the tale of that quest I was upon, that guy? Sure. Keep it short. <laughs> I will try. Down in Onstiora. Please introduce yourself. Oh, no. I... I am Mistress Tirza Bithrebos, of now of the East Kingdom. But I began this great adventure in Onstiora. And I was pleased to attend an event, my third, uh, down on a ranch uh, in Brengwalad that was often the site of a, many a wonderful dream event. And there they were having a quest. And we were to have a fighter, a magic user, a couple other, you know, with your little party. And your first step in this grand quest was to bribe the gate guard for your party to be allowed past. And we understand that by the end, people were using bottles of bead and other things. But we approached the gate guard with two M&Ms and explain to him the magic of these wonderful tablets. Um, with the local tavern wench, it might help him. And so our small offering was accepted and we moved on. We rescued the princess early on and then she's your guide and off you go. And we encountered a fire demon Sir Ricardo de Pisa with his saber and in this flamed Tudor outfit of yellow, orange, and red. And our fighter went, it's Sir Ricardo de Pisa. And Gwenthlian stepped forth and began a magic charm, rhyming in Welsh, animal names and color names. Well, we didn't know what she was saying, but it rhymed, <laughs> and it was wondrous. And Sir Ricardo determined that he had indeed been defeated by the spell. And we came across a lovely lady, and she was dressed as a centaur, with a little top, and a horse tail, and flowers about her. And as we watched the gentlemen of our party droll <laughs> over this woman, we determined that, ah, there must be a time limit on this quest, and this is running out the time. <laughs> My lords, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a cry from the side of, the, of our path. Whoa, and alack, it was a cry of pain. Would we come and help this poor person right off the side of the road? And I yelled, it's a trap, and we ran. Had we gone to rescue the dying person, which would have been noble, we been, would have been told of the gold down over the hill and have lost a party member to the dragon. We avoided the trap. It was. <laughs> and when we encounter two hags chawing on bones, the Baroness Shauna de Fraser in her finest and another lady. And two of our party, Jeremy, James Skurlock and Yana, both fine fencers, had run up to them and then realized their peril. Their bones too would be chewed if these hags touched them. They kept running and they leaped, well, Jeremy leaped over the hedgerow. Yana was able to stop in time as we heard Jeremy's going over the hedgerow going, oh she down into the ravine. <laughs> <laughs> Not all quest barriers are virtual. <laughs> We won the quest, and now the wood chest that was handed out as a prize is my sewing box. <laughs> <laughs>